In this clip, we'll graph the conic section called the parabola in its most elementary form. In order to graph the parabola y equals x squared, we'll go to the mode menu to make sure that we are in function mode. We have these other options as well, parametric polar sequential, 3D differential equations mode. Then we'll go to the equation editor by typing diamond F1 and we'll type in our equation x squared. Then we'll go to the graph menu and we see it's graphing it for us and if we type F2 zoom we can specify our domain and range and we'll go ahead and select zoom standard which is option 6 which gives us a domain from minus 10 to 10 and a range from minus 10 to 10. And so there we have y equals x squared, the parabola graphed. Now we'll graph the ellipse, which is another conic section. And the equation we'll use is x squared over 4 plus y squared over 9 equals 1. The center of this ellipse will be at the origin. But in order to graph it, since it's not a function, we'll actually find the equation for the upper half and the lower half. And here we see the equation plus or minus 3 halves times the square root of 4 minus x squared. So solving for y, we see the upper half is, is a positive 3 halves times the square root of 4 minus x squared. And y will be negative when it's equal to a minus 3 halves times the square root of 4 minus x squared, thus giving us the curve underneath the x-axis. We're now ready to graph the ellipse, so we'll go into the equation editor. We'll clear out the existing function that's in there, and we'll type in initially the upper half of the ellipse, so that's going to be 3 divided by 2 times the square root. The square root is second x of the quantity 4 minus x squared. So 4 minus x to the power of 2. And parentheses, enter. And then if we go to the graph menu, we see the upper half of the ellipse being graphed. If we go to the zoom menu, which is F2, and we select zoom standard option 6, we get a little fuller picture of it, but if we zoom in even further by using zoom decimal option 4 we get a better picture yet of the upper half of the ellipse. Then we go to the back into the equation editor for the lower half so if we type diamond F1 the lower half is going to be the opposite of Y1 so we can quickly enter that by typing negation And then we want to type in f, or actually y1 of x. So we type in y1 of x, right paren, and then hit enter. And so we now have the upper half and the lower half. And if we go into the window menu and we custom tailor it, since we know the ellipse goes from minus 2 to 2 and the the center of the ellipse is at the origin and it goes from minus 3 to 3 in the range. If we graph it 
using those values for the domain and the range, we get a, a nicer graph of the ellipse that fills the screen. Next, we graph the hyperbola. Similar to the ellipse, it's not a function, but it does have an upper half and a lower half. So we solve for y. We find out that y is equal to plus or minus 3 halves times the square root of 4 minus x squared. So the upper half would be y equals 3 halves times the square root of the quantity 4 minus x squared. And the lower half will be minus 3 halves times the square root of the quantity 4 minus x squared. So in graphing the hyperbola, we'll first go to the home screen. And then from there, we'll go to the equation editor, diamond F1. We'll clear out the existing equations. And then we'll go ahead and type in the upper half of the hyperbola which is 3 divided by 2 times the square root, so second x, of x squared minus 4. So we have x squared minus 4, end of parentheses, enter. If we go to the zoom menu and set our domain and range using zoom standard, which will set them to minus 10 to 10 for the domain and minus 10 to 10 for the range, we see the upper half of the hyperbola. Now we'll go into the equation editor and get the lower half by typing in minus y1 of x. So y1 of x, enter. And then when we graph diamond F3, we see the lower half of the ellipse being graphed as well. Now, if we go into the, if we want to get a little tighter fit, if we go into the window menu, diamond F2, we see our domain is set to minus 10 to 10, range is minus 10 to 10. And we could narrow that down a little bit if we so desire. Let's say we'll go from a minus 3 to 3 for the domain. And for the range, <clears throat> we'll go from minus 4 to 4. That basically, the fundamental rectangle is going from minus 2 to 2 in the domain, and the fundamental rectangle is going from minus 3 to 3 in the range. So if we just give it a unit either way, we're going to basically zoom in around the fundamental rectangle. So there we see the left branch of our, our hyperbola and our right branch. And similarly, we could zoom out to get a perspective going the other way. <laughs>